Today's video brings you another way to create a steampunk spread like this one in our Circle Journal series. This time with a bit more grunge and with some ideas on how you can have organic meat metal. Welcome and hello! This is Patricia, the P. And I am Mariah, the M. Together we, we are, are PM Artist Studio. Studio. And this is our channel. Please take a moment if you are new and subscribe and ring the bell. Now let's get started. Here we are right off the bat, um, kind of like we have with all of them. We wanted to keep this similar with using the sprays. And so you see that I kind of have, I have the whole... What do you say? Today? The whole gambit <laughs> from <laughs> Mr. Huey's Lindsay's. We got some, that, that's the some Tim Holtz there. <laughs> now we don't have any of our special mix. <laughs> no, that didn't. Well, that, that was that was more black. Yeah, and what I've done here is you see the tape roll because it's all done, even though there's a little bit left there. But oh, where is that? I could use that in my. Oh yeah, I'll hand that over. Yeah, yeah, we got a different video coming up uh, on Wednesday. Anyway, so I wanted to create some kind of like coffee mug marks or, you know, whatever. Yeah. I always have this idea with steampunk that, you know, some guy sitting around, or person, not really some guy, <laughs> could be some chick. <laughs> A person. A person sitting around drinking, you know, something coffee-like or tea. And it's spilled and it gets, over yes. and they accidentally set it down and right. made and then a you start, mark. And then you start wiping it up. And then that's when you start getting this weird grungy stuff starting to appear and tear back. And yeah, and then at some point somebody said, wow, I really like, like that. that. <laughs> that's cool. All right. So what you're seeing there um, are some of P's brayer off papers. We'll talk more about that. And then these are our printed papers, the ones with the big flowers there. And P just came along with, what, some acrylic paint? A little really? bit of a mix. I think you made a mix. Yes, and the the first rattle out of the box was not the right color. I had to come in and redo it because it was just too blue, bluish, purplish. <laughs> yeah, um, so we wanted to tone it back and get it a li little more towards the green. Because we wanted, we had already had the brayer off piece that you see there that we ran through the embosser with our gear. And then the, Mariah's just grunging it up some more. Yeah. With some, I don't know what she's using there. Uh, the leftover stuff out of the, from, from when I did oh, the coffee. Oh, when you spray. Yeah, well, well, and when I did the, the coffee mark. Yeah. You know, the circles. See, look, and I'm even keeping that and, like, looking at it. Probably told P to come over and look at it. Then I said, yes, I think that we should keep that. <laughs> or keep I, at I, it. I, I don't remember ever saying, no, I think you should throw that away. <laughs> right. I don't think I, she's I ever said that. That hasn't happened. It <laughs> may. I mean, I, I have had some dismal I, i'm working on dismal failure upstairs right now <laughs> that's just horrible yeah. but See, it happens gonna, to all of us it's gonna be a good all right so what we're laying out here are the different alcohol inks and this is my second run at this so i actually sort of knew what i was doing a bit more to kit the colors that i wanted because with alcohol inks even though you think you've got it down i swear it just i don't know it's kind of about like brush shows. You don't always really know. Mm, you d you don't, and it has a mind of its own in a way. And I, I think that these different types of aluminum foil that we use react differently. I I, I swear that they do. Well, hey, this was my second run at the. This is the the big Noosa. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we like those. Number one, they don't have any writing on the the backside where the smaller ones do. It's a good size. And then this was the Tim Holtz, one of the Sizzix Tim Holtz folders that we love so much. We have like the circle one, and then we have the, the squares that are similar in yeah. how they kind of have like little spots that are bare and not. And it's perfect for the steampunk. But a lot of his stuff is kind of that style, isn't it? Grungy and trying to keep the grunge going on this steampunky one where the other one is a bit more victorian a little more fluffy lighter mm -hmm. more feminine i suppose but i did use i think all ranger inks there none of the jacquard and you just sort of have to work work it in there and i actually probably should have just left that alone you know watching it now because if you let it dry up a second, 
you'll hold those colors more. It's a lot like batiking in a way, where it's like if you let it, if you capture that layer. Yes, you, you should be happy with that and, and leave it alone. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible with that. Yeah, we're both kind of terrible. Somebody needs to stand over you, like I said, and just whack you over the head and tell you, done. <laughs> okay, and also, like the last one, um, which I don't even know if I recorded the other one, um, I mean, folding it, but there really isn't any wrong way to do this. It's just to get the longest section so you're going on of a, a trifold. Exactly. Of the, of the trifold. So kind of create this little fan figure out if you know that's sort of where you want it and then come along I on this one I did fold that underneath on the very first one that I did I left it hanging out and I ended up having to kind of do it afterwards which so that was a bit harder to do yes because if it's already down you have to be careful yeah. about what's happening to this <laughs> neighbor right exactly and then, you know, I knew that I was going to be working that in, so I wanted to kind of figure out size, and then, again, more torn edges, and lots of playing around. I, on this one, I struggled a little bit on placement. Like, I didn't want it to be exactly like the other one. I wanted there to be similarity, because I liked how it all laid out. Well, here she goes taking care of her white edges. Oh, yes. And let me tell you, again... A lot easier to do when at this it, point. At this point, versus like trying to <laughs> shove something in underneath there after you've glued it all down. That gets uh, that gets tricky. And I liked cleaning up those edges too. Just I didn't know where they were if I was going to tuck them in underneath something or whatever. But it was best again just to <clears throat> make sure that you got it covered while it's not glued down. I don't see. Look, I ended up even just tearing that, saying. Adios to that little bit. See, it's been a while. I don't really even. No. <laughs> this is this is futzy work. This is stuff that like P's like really. Wow. Oh my god, it's killing me! <laughs> why are you? Why, why did you even show that? <laughs> Nobody sure cares some, about sure that. Some people out there are like, oh, trust me, we'll we'll move on here in a second. See, but look at that. I'm starting to kind of. Yeah. It didn't end up there. No. But... <laughs> <laughs> this is this is its first. Uh-huh. Ah, now we're getting yeah. close. Yeah, now we're getting close. And of course, I I am talking to P across the I way. I think I think I ha I got handed off the piece of aluminum foil and I'm working on it on my side. Yes, a little bit. So we just thought it was a little bit too stark it needed to be. No, you know what? That was the first one that you're thinking of. Oh, really? You worked on the first one, and then I had that down sort of as a technique. Oh. So I did it on the second one on my own. Oh, okay. See? I can be... Well, I can't tell. This has been months ago. Well, it wasn't months ago, but it was weeks. <laughs> a lot has happened in between. <laughs> a lot. And I'm just... Sometimes these all kind of schmoosh together. Sometimes I... they do. Indeed. Indeed. So I'm going through the the brayer, brayer off, roller off sheets, figuring out. Oh yeah, out. and I know what I'm working on. I'm working on those envelopes, because uh, I yeah. really got into it once Mariah gave me permission to, you know, mess them up. To go back into them because you know we had done the gel printing session where P had done a lot of those uh, vellum, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then when you came back with the leaf. And, and I stenciled. Stenciled them on. And it's so crazy because I'm having a hard time anymore even kind of de deciphering between which ones are stamped and which ones are stenciled. Although mm. the stamp technically doesn't live anymore. It is certainly not like that. No. no. So, so those are those are those, those are stenciled. Those are definitely stencils. There you go, ripping that paper apart again. <laughs> One little piece just wasn't right where it needed to be. And well, it wasn't. And then see, look, I'm coming in with the yeah. the Lindsay's. And I'll tell you what, I would really love that Lindsay spray. It, it has that little bit of shine to it, but it isn't so, so crazy that it, you're like, whoa. Where I find that the, what is it, the Delusions spray one, shimmer spray stuff, like it's very 
shiny. It's in your face, yeah. You, yeah. you can't get away and from And they get super clogged and all kinds of things. And these are some nice little things that Mariah received for a happy mail package. Yeah, from a lady in, in one of the Facebook groups that we are in. She sent this whole box of stuff and it was this huge stack. I was like, I will never use all of these. I'll tell you what, the, the stack is getting thin. Uh -huh. I love those bookmarks. <laughs> <laughs> they're to... the most fantastic like width for a tag and i just i like that they they're that tall because you can actually get two if you want little short ones so highly recommend if you can yeah. grab some bookmarks or go check out the local library's uh trash bin because <laughs> <laughs> i think that's where she got them all right coming back in with our yogurt top that is dried and also the medium um the the ma let's see sorry clear gesso yes there we go sorry it took me oh no here i clear gessoing it and this is the t c w right i have no idea <laughs> p's not giving me a lot in this here <laughs> well she, she's got to get me in on these videos that are earlier <laughs> than yeah, I mean, I you know I have good recollection right after we we do them, but after four or five later, I'm just like, huh. Just piecing in some of the the metal. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you are using these, um, to have a little tool. See the, the little pokey tool there? It's actually a clay tool. It works is clay wonderfully. Tool. But it has a little ball on the end, and on it both also ends. yeah, it works as a, an embosser. Also. Yeah, it is perfect for getting those edges. Uh, what do you call it when you burn burnish them? Mm -hmm. Sort of, yeah, burnish them. And I was bound and determined to use almost every bit of the yogurt. You top. ended up doing it. I think they're I did. just tiny little look snippets. At that, look at that circle cut right there. Wow. Did you see that? Oh, that was... And. <laughs> See, this is the stuff that P's just like, oh my god, seriously, why would you even bother? But <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's it's the surgeon work. Look at how that, that tool, I'm telling you, that is one of my most favorite. When it sort of gets shuffled in the middle of the thing, I sometimes start freaking out like you've taken off with it or lost it or Izzy I think has I, it. I think I've got another one in the... It is really and with the clay tools. one of the most amazing tools. It works for holding down, like if you're gluing things, <laughs> you don't want it stuck to your finger mm -hmm. and it's tiny so it doesn't get goobed up. Yeah, it's fantastic. I had a little bit of struggle at the top part here um, because, so there's the three fold plus that folded section actually lifts up and becomes a pocket. So there's little hidey holes. I, I just, you know, m my problem with this is once I hand over the papers to her, most of the time, unless it's, I, I have a vested interest in the project and I, I really want to, you know, claim it as mine. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, just let me know if you have any and problems. And that, that was really just like a, that, that was a nice thing to do. <laughs> so yeah, that, that stuff is sharp. It is. It will cut you. So if you do have some little hanger on or bits that poke out, it's and, best to and cover them up. And I just realized that the reason what we changed the color on that original piece of paper there, painted uh -huh. over it, is because of the the envelope stamping there. Yep. Because it just wasn't it wasn't working. Mm -mm. Well, and I liked that deeper. Yeah, and then there's that little bit of lime green in in there, which Mariah will utilize later. In, in a tag. Nope. See, you're again, you're back on it's the first on the one. other one? Mm-hmm. I really, I didn't have much to do with this one. Well, I, I used you a lot on that first one. That's well, I why. guess that's why I just keep going back to that one. Well, because... that's okay. I mean, I'll, I'll link that video below. <laughs> <laughs> you watch it and then see how, I mean, they're very similar. But whenever I was talking about how organic meets metal, you have these flower elements, these nice curved edges, 
torn edges along with that kind of sharp metal look. I like that idea. Well, it's contrast. Yeah. Textural contrast. There you go. I'll tell you who would look really good in, in this journal. I mean, I realize it's already gone, but it's a photo of Ganesh. <laughs> it came out of the... P is obsessed with the, the fish tank Ganesh. <laughs> well, he was in there long enough to gain... A lot of really nice patina. And I, I'm going to... It's very gonna similar a, to this, yes. I'm going to do a green journal that's based on Ganesh. <laughs> from the fish tank. From the fish tank. <laughs> I've even got some fish somewhere. <laughs> some fish stamps. All right. So now I'm going to mark it off an area while P, you know, thinks about Ganesh and her fish tank bit. Well, something. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I don't necessarily find this terribly riveting. Oh, goodness. Listen to her. But see how wonderfully those little bookmarks mm -hmm. work? Look at that. And all my little bits. She hates this. She really does. Like, it's... She, she finds it tedious and... Where, I, you know, where I, I, I'm, I'm so happy. That, oh. yeah, yeah, she is happy. Cut, <laughs> cutting and sticking. <laughs> Stuffing <laughs> things in little... Little nooks. Little nooks and crannies. Nannies and I don't know. Says something about her personality, actually. I won't go there right now, but wow. um, yeah. <laughs> Some art therapy here. <laughs> <laughs> I do get nitpicky every now and then. I, I really do, but it's, it's it certainly doesn't usually involve cutting. Yeah. Is that, you know, I... This is a new little thing that I have now started kind of doing with any type of envelope. If you have cut it up, the corner piece can be turned into moth or butterfly wings oh yeah and I, I i just like that idea and what's really cool about the vellum is it, it sort of curls up and then i had the little piece left over from my cutting and you know stuffing that then became the body and i even cut like little you know use my decorative scissors there and now the chocola marker and something to keep in mind with these uh chocola markers this particular these fat ones um p got for me um but they are chalk so they do need to be sealed somehow they will sort of rub off but i love the colors and i love how they react so there i am using the three-dimensional mod podge to seal that up it's just the color is so of those colors of that set they were the vintage set mm -hmm. so they go really well with a lot of our things and also to bring home that whole idea of like organic the leaves the flowers the little moth the earthiness of the, the earth, brown yeah the earthiness of the brown it, it made sense to then start bringing in some fiber and, and i i this has been a real big goal of mine here lately, and I think for 2021, just that much more to... It's so cool to bring those different things together from paper to metal, fibers, doing different techniques, learning different styles. And if you can't do it, then hopefully somebody else will, you know, at least send you some stuff. Working on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> People think I'm weird. I'm still, like I said, working on that. <laughs> Making friends. <laughs> all over the internet. But uh, this was actually, and very rarely do I use the like the paper book stuff anymore. Very much of the scrapbooking, you know, other people's papers. I've jumped late on it. Yeah, <laughs> other people's papers, like OPP, other people's papers. <laughs> she doesn't get the reference, trust me. But anyway, um, I know. it was such, like it, it just hit it so spot on. And you saw me come in with a little bit of the Lindsay spray there to darken it up a bit. And it's kind of interesting with these foiled papers that you purchase, how well they do take different colors and the foil stays. And then sometimes it colors ever so slightly, which is pretty nifty as well. This was about the time that I got, those were like brand new. My fine tech. It was Mariah's early Christmas present. It we was. don't buy each other. Christmas presents or birthday presents. But they were perfect for the... I, I, I knew they were the minute I saw them. Yeah. 
All right, so didn't get it on video, but P wrote on the back of that a nice little quote in her lovely scripty handwriting. Thanks, P. No problem. It was perfect because I can't write like that. I have kind of one style. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> if I want something else, I print it. <laughs> I know where to find that font. <laughs> um, but plenty of glue there. I should say. Is it ooshing over? Well, I wanted to make sure it filled up. So one of the things to keep in mind whenever you do emboss the papers, if you want it to really hold up, if you get enough glue in there, it fills the space ah. and it holds better. Well, and then when it sets up, it's right. It, it, it forms it's into, there. yeah, exactly. So another little tip or trick there. Yeah. And, and that is necessary, necessary with the aluminum foil of any, to her, any, aluminium. any, um, any kind, because some of them are a little more fragile than others. And you really do want to go heavy on yeah. the glue. Even if you have to kind of scrape it off the edge or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> in the, in the long the run, you, you will be happy you did that. But here, I think we're kind of coming to the end. Um, using up those bits and pieces of the, the envelope that I had left over. What was funny is, man, that vellum stuff is so weird. It tightened up on me. And so that tag Bowed. curled up a bit because it just, it's such, it's such weird stuff, man. It, I have a real love hate. No, I just hate hate. <laughs> just hate. <laughs> There's no love. I love. And I like the way it looks, and it's just it's one of those things. Kind of sound like some of the people that you know. You know, wow, they look really good, but you put some glue on them, and they're all right. So yeah. now we got it in the box. It's all done. Look at that little accordion, almost oh, style there. Yeah. Little fluffy bits. See, just the little pieces and parts left over from off cuts created. All of those tag bits. Piece lovely writing. That Freddie Mercury quote. Oh, that was such a good one. Yeah. Little pieces that I kind of threw in for him. Some close-ups there. A little string. My little moth. It's like a little dangle. I don't know, like if you want to... I know how some people put it on the edge of the page. Or just, you know little bits to dangle from the tags it works well and as always if you have liked this video please do so with clicking leave us a comment and don't forget to ring the bell thanks for watching bye bye